opportunity on stage. You guys ready for this shit? Well, there's only one way to start an episode like this, everybody. How many of you are actually fans of the show? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you doing a brand new minute, a legendary regular. You guys know the words? This is Hans Kim, everybody. Thank you. It's good to be here. I love uh, Kill Tony fans, because I know I can say retard tonight. <laughs> retard, 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 retard. Re Why aren't you doing it? <laughs> Did you vote for Biden, faggot? <laughs> faggot, 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 faggot. <laughs> Any black people want to start the next chance? <laughs> uh, Legally, I'm not allowed to start it anymore. <laughs> I can jump in in the middle, though. <laughs> I'm glad that the new Apple Vision Pro came out, because now it won't look so weird masturbating on the bus. <laughs> I hate poor people. Poor people always bragging about how poor they are. They're like, I grew up on the streets, man. I had to steal french fries to survive. My best friend was locked in a cage. What are you, a pigeon? <laughs> Sound like a pigeon, bitch. <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> the great Hans Kim. How you feeling tonight, Hans? I feel amazing. I've been, uh, you know, really working on myself. I've been taking three showers a week. Uh, so it's pretty good for me. <laughs> Why three showers a week? I didn't know that you were this uncleanly. I just don't shower that much. I'm uh, pretty clean as it is. I'm Asian. I'm trying to use my strengths. I save all that shower time to study the art. <laughs> he has no hair. So when they say shrimp dick, they're talking about the smell? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No doubt about it. I love it. I've been uh, pretty good. I've been... Uh, <laughs> Having sex. <laughs> I like this look. It's like Fifty Shades of Beige or something like that. Is it, did someone dress you like that? Did you do that? Yeah, my friend Amira is helping me. She's uh, Palestinian. You need to get a mirror. <laughs> hey, that is true. Oh, Jeff, die. I, uh, I'm glad you told me that I shouldn't interrupt the comedians for the first 60 seconds because I was going to do the black person chant. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, 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 ah. Kim? Uh, Hans, I think your jokes are great. I like that you came out chanting your own name. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on in your life this week, Hans? Anything else big? Sex is always a great thing for me. Um, I've been with my ex. You know, we've been uh, hooking up after the breakup. And uh, what's her full name? <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting because last week uh, it seemed like you guys were taking a real break. Yeah, I accidentally ordered two hundred dollars worth of DoorDash on her account, um, and uh, I was mad at her. But then I went over and I started crying and bawling my eyes out. And now we're you, well, did? you were yeah, you were full of dog. So <laughs> full of what? Dog. Oh, oh well. <laughs> but an Asian person balls their eyes out. Isn't that a limited? Do you guys have the same amount of tears as we do? <laughs> Seems like you guys are like restricting it a little it's bit, a right? It's a mist. They like come out in rectangles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we just squeeze it all out. White people can like put it around the sphere of the eyes. We just. I'm just offended. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How do you think they make duck sauce? <laughs> That is true. That is true. Uh, how do you spend two hundred dollars on DoorDash, Hans? I tip the delivery drivers fifty bucks each. I ordered two things. Uh, Wait, what? I I tip them fifty bucks. You do? I did just to because it was her credit card. I oh, you knew that it was her credit card. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to spend her money. But I Venmoed her back because I felt bad after I had sex with her. Wow. Dude. This is very weird. You are unbelievably honest. 
<laughs> and very revealing of a lot of very interesting shit. This guy lives by a strange code. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is unbelievable. So this was your, tr were you trying to like get her back? Were you trying to be in communication? You knew she was going to be like, Hans, you spent 200 on DoorDash. Yeah, but she didn't respond. And then I had to go over there to pick up my drone remote controller. <laughs> Holy shit. Just the remote controller? <laughs> you could have bought two yeah. of those with those tips that you just spent, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cried and then we had sex with a condom twice and without once. This is unbelievable. See, people are like, why is Hans, what is the deal with Hans? And I'm like, do you listen to these interviews? I don't even have to do anything. He gives you just everything you could ever possibly want to work with in the world. So some with, some without? Yeah, the first two was with, and then the last one, it was without. Oh, you could hear him smiling. <laughs> you could hear the talk. Yeah, the first two, there was none, and then the second one, there it was. <laughs> That's un unbelievable. You just can't hide how excited you are to use that fucking raw fucking raw. Is it still raw dog if you do it? <laughs> this is where you should do the raw dog. Joke. Raw dog. I got it. There we go. <laughs> so that Tony has a lot of dog inside him. <laughs> that was it didn't work mark. twice. That's how bad it was. <laughs> and they knew I was making fun of it. When you're making a dog joke, you got to leave a little pause. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Um, okay, Hans, we have, uh, we have come to a very, very interesting uh, agreement, you and I, mm -hmm. earlier on the phone, to, um, he is battling Rick Diaz in an unbelievable, unbelievably exciting rematch. Uh, he, while he won, he went on to challenge Rick Diaz to silence the haters, ba 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 it's happening May 10th, live from the LA Forum, right? Yes. So... Uh, we realize that what's not fair is that Rick gets to prepare this super minute over months without having to spend any minutes or interviews on the show. So it would be fair to give Hans Kim a break. So unless he absolutely wants one, uh, he will not be performing until May 10th, live at the Forum on Kill Tony. I know, I know. Listen to the controversy. <laughs> this is, oh, no. I'm telling you, it's so funny. It's He's about to stab himself with a sword. You guys love Hans Kim, don't you? See? This is what I'm saying. You know, it's well. Chinese bots working against him, I think. Like that on online <laughs> that and shit like be. that. That could be. Nobody hates Asians more than other Asians. This is true. <laughs> you would agree with that, right? Well, Hans? Shane Gillis. Yes. Well, yes. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, so, until he wants to again, that was Hans Kim. How do you feel about this, Hans? I feel great. I'm going to energize. I'm going to recharge. I'm going to come back better than ever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A lot of people cheered for me on that night at the arena, and I'm going to work hard for them. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. There you go. And that was Hans Kim, everybody. Make some noise for there Hans, everyone. <laughs> and I will tell you right now, indeed... Later tonight, you will all meet the new regular that will open the shows every week here on Kill Tony. Isn't that exciting? But now we go to the bucket. Who uses oh my Cash God. App? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is one of those moments that the fan base, all of you, everybody in the Kill Tony universe is going to remember forever because... William Montgomery could not make it tonight, everyone. He has a, uh, yes, he has some type of infection or something like that, sinus infection. Um, so he's missing tonight. But in his place, we get to introduce the newest regular to Kill Tony. This is the man that will be opening every episode of Kill Tony, at least until May, when Rick and Hans, uh, Hans, Kim, and Rick Diaz have their rematch. Uh, and if he wants to, I mean, who knows what can happen. But ladies and gentlemen, the point is, this is our first regular, new regular announcement since the great Cam Patterson uh, seven months ago. You guys excited about this? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Writing and performing a new minute every week from now on. He's going to be starting every show. 
a man who is a fucking mythical creature around these parts, probably one of the best fucking comedians in all of Austin, Texas. Wild as hell, just a fucking thunderstorm on stage when doing longer sets. Loved by everyone that has a good sense of humor, I can tell you that. This is your newest regular and new Kill Tony legend. Make some noise for the return of the great and powerful Casey Rocket. Some folks are born meant to wave the flag. All right, very cool. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, Santa. All right. Very cool. God, I wish Santa was here to see this. Okay. He loves it when a good boy goes bad. All right. Hell yeah. Get real. Get lost. We're having fun. Yeah, I've had a lot of weird jobs in my life. I was a lobster in a grocery store tank for a summer. Uh, great job. Great benefits. All you can wear rubber bands. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I promised my fiance I'd watch monster truck videos really loud while she's asleep, so. <laughs> Babe, wake up. Gravedigger's going berserk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah. Just riffing. Cal Rifkin Jr., we're having fun. Hell yeah. Raw Riff Energy. R R E. What's that spell? <laughs> <laughs> Casey Rocket, thank you guys. Happy to be Holy here. Holy shit. Yep. Yep. The future has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Casey motherfucking Rocket. Hell yeah. That's how you start an episode, right there. The man is a freak of nature. It is, yes. <laughs> you know what that sound means. The Just rocket has tongue arrived. Tongue stuff. Doing some tongue work. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Everybody likes it. <laughs> yeah, William's sick. He ate an apple tag. We were in... <laughs> <laughs> We were in Utah, and I dared him to eat an apple tie. God bless him. He went through with it, so more of a man than I am. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's just cool to kind of see him go, just go for it, so. Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. Laughter goodness. went down. Okay. I <laughs> love it. Casey, welcome to the fold. Uh, an absolute freak of nature. Louis J. Gomez. I mean, he is Adderall personified. Yep. Holy shit, dude. I, let me tell you, I don't know Casey. He was at Skankfest, I believe. You're a guy, you're, you're, I hear so much about you. He was at Kimfest. He was at Kimfest, which is the more important festival. Let's I had real. him first. Uh, Doggy, this is my first time actually watching Watching you, you're fucking wild. You're unique. It was so fun, dude. Like, just, it was, it was almost choreography. I watched you just fucking own these people. They're idiots, but um, <laughs> you were fucking really great, dude. You were really great. I'm very impressed with that. What that was. Oh, thanks, man. They seem really you? nice. You guys are nice. No, they're fools. <laughs> In the green room here, there's uh, two televisions that show each of the showrooms and what's going on on the stage. I had Casey uh, do a spot on my late night show, whatever it was, Wednesday or Thursday or whatever this past week. And I'm sitting there next to Ron White and he goes, he goes, man, that guy uh, likes to move around a lot on stage, doesn't he? <laughs> and I go, because the sound isn't on, we're listening to music, but you could see people moving and he's flying from one side of the picking up the mic stand, fucking crap, all this shit. And I go, you've never seen KC Rocket, Ron? And he goes, no, what it, what's going on out there? I go, come on. And we showed him from the uh, balcony. And in about 10 seconds, Ron was fucking choking up tobacco from 1963. It was unbelievable <laughs> watching his reaction. He got so excited and uh, was laughing so hard. Oh, Jack thanks, died. I yeah. actually name dropped you on Rogan as my favorite comedian. Me and, too. And He's also, my favorite. But and also, the reason it. I'm saying that, <laughs> Casey, the reason I, the reason I'm saying that is because I got about 50 fucking texts from like my closest comedy friends in LA. They're like, "Fuck you, dude. You've seen Casey twice. You know." All my openers are like, fuck off, dude. What's with the Casey? But you're the fucking G, dude. I love it. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah me, and, uh, me and Jeff did a show at uh, 
Mexican restaurant in LA, and it was that's like, my type of gigs. It's yeah. just us. Yeah. There's something wrong yeah. with him, but he is the future. <laughs> it like is. I'm not kidding. He's Thank the best. you. Thank you, everyone. So nice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been so nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on. We, we got to be more mean. Hold on. Give us a few no, minutes. No, no, no. You don't need to be. The guy's a fucking sensation. We're excited to be working with you. You know, as the show has evolved, when it first started, you know, Kim started the day that she started doing comedy. She started writing a minute. So it's so fitting that you're even here for the newest regular because the whole thing has evolved to where I'm excited to even have you. Thank you. Thank you. I Happy can't even imagine, Casey I can't Rocket. imagine how many fun minutes and how much crazy shit we're slowly going to learn about your yeah. uh, life through these <laughs> interviews. We have a lot to get to. It's exciting stuff. It is exciting. I'm happy to be here. Casey Rocket, class of 2013. So excited. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, Santa. I can't say it enough. You're, the, you're my biggest inspiration. <laughs> Tony, do you hear you Reddit uh, clapping right now? Do you hear all of that? No, I don't give a shit. Uh, I feel like Casey is if AI got wet. <laughs> <laughs> like sexually wet? Like, 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 like. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, I, I do a good <laughs> robot voice. Hold on. This is AI. <laughs> Just a peek behind the <laughs> Get ready. Uh, <laughs> I do, this is AI if it was getting really, really wet. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. I'm so horny, baby. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Kind of funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that was the least <laughs> robotic he's ever been. It sounds really yeah. good. It sounds really good. I love it. Uh, so you. Casey, welcome to the fold. Uh, I'm very excited. How do you feel about uh, opening excited, the Excited, very excited, thank you. Yeah, this is cool. It's, uh, it's really fun. Yeah, me and William were in Utah all weekend. I get back, I get the call, walking off Air Force One. Tony calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Obama was taking us around to the gig. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I get the call. Yeah. Phone rings. What hurts the most? I'm like, I gotta, t <laughs> I gotta take this. Uh, <laughs> and William's over there just choking on the Apple tag. So I was like, I'll help you in a minute, but this seems pretty important. And, <laughs> and uh, sure enough, it's Tony. He's like, you're up. I'm like, fucking, I'll be there. And William's still on the plane. So God bless. <laughs> God bless, my man. Me and William are really good friends. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> For real. You guys do the road together. Yeah. I love it. Very exciting stuff. Uh, <laughs> so you're in, dude. It's going to be uh, you kicking off shows for the foreseeable Excited. future. Hell yeah. I'm Big pumped riffs. about it. He's in. The future has arrived. Casey Rocket joining the fray here on Kill Thank Tony. Thank you. Fuck Excited. Yeah. Every Thank you guys. week. Amazing stuff. Make some noise for Casey Rocket, everybody. Did you guys have fun tonight? Fuck yeah. Make some noise for our guest, Luis J. Gomez. The Meaty Ogre Tour on sale now. Lewis of Skanks.com. Make some noise for the great Jeff Die, everybody.